congratulations. You've made it through the first six weeks and you're now ready for stage two. The immobilizer is no longer needed at this time, so we'll put it to the side. There are two main goals in the second phase of recovery. They're both range of motion exercises and we're looking to try to improve what we call forward elevation as well as what we call external rotation. There are three different exercises that we give for elevation. All of these exercises are going to be listed on a handout that we'll be giving you as well. But we'll demonstrate for you, we'll demonstrate them for you right now. The first is what we call a table slide. The arm will slide across the table, bringing the shoulder blade and the arm forward at the same time reaching the point where it doesn't want to move any further and holding that position for 30 seconds. Push a little bit further for an additional 10 seconds and take a break. You'll be repeating that five times and repeating those series of exercises three times a day. The second stretching exercise for forward elevation that is listed on your handout is what we call assisted stretching. You'll bring the arm to the overhead position with the assistance of your other arm, bringing it up as far as it'll go until it gets tight. At that point, you'll hold it for 30 seconds, stretch a little bit more for 10 seconds, and take a break. You'll then repeat that five times, three times a day. The third overhead stretch listed on the handout is what we call a wall crawl. This involves inching your fingers up the wall, crawling up. In the process, you are elevating the arm. Once again, you'll bring it up to the point where it no longer wants to move. You'll lean into it as you hold that stretch for a period of 30 seconds. Then you'll inch a few more crawls up the wall, lean in again for an additional 10 seconds, and take a break. Repeat that five times, three times a day. The next set of stretches are going to be working on external rotation. If you've had an anatomic total shoulder arthroplasty, this is a very gentle exercise as the subscapularis tendon that was repaired during surgery can be overstretched and potentially rupture if you get too aggressive with this stretch. The stretch involves utilizing an assistive device placed into the healthy non-surgically operated arm the power of the stretch will happen from this arm. The, the other arm the head, where the surgery was done, the elbow must be locked at the side and the rotation is pressed by the power of your other arm. So here you see power of this arm pressing into that arm, working on that stretch. When you feel the arm stretching, you hold it there for 30 seconds, put a little extra tension on that stretch and hold it for another 10 seconds. Repeat that five times, three times a day. The only remaining restrictions that you'll have during the second phase of recovery have to do with lifting. I recommend that you do not lift anything more than two pounds during this next six week period. You are free to begin to return to typical standard activities of daily living. You're allowed to drive and use your arms for bathing and, and most activities of daily living that don't involve heavy lifting. That will all change in six weeks and we'll see you again then.